All right. Hey, what's happening, everyone? I am your Dragon God of Gaming, Damien Dragon, and welcome back to the Gaming News, where I run down the list of all the gaming news, facts, rumors, trivia, and everything coming out of the gaming industry this week. Uh, today, we're going to be covering covering the, the Summer of Gaming Showcase put on by IGN, and I was going to... Um, I was going to cover the Xbox and Bethesda showcase, but um, as of the moment, I either had just gotten done with a uh, birthday stream or still going with a birthday stream over on my YouTube channel to celebrate the 8th anniversary of me becoming a YouTuber. So, if you guys want to come check me out over there, then by all means, but I will be coming to Xbox uh, Gaming Showcase this coming Sunday, so my apologies. Anyway. Let's just hop right in because we're gonna we have a little bit to go, so let's just let's just go. Anyway, I agree that gaming is a spectacle when done right, and gaming sh when done right actually anyway. And gaming showcases are the big ones for gaming. The energy, the feel of them, and knowing that something big can be revealed. Now, I will be listing off the games and what they're about, beat by beat, and word from word from IGN from games. I think are I think are pretty good looking and deserving a watch, but you should definitely go and check all the games listed in the description below with the summer showcase. I kinda fucked up that line real hard, sorry. I was going to wait and do the Xbox and Bethesda Showcase, but again, as I said, I have a birthday stream. I'm running for my eight-year anniversary over on my YT channel, so I won't be, I won't have time to cover this um, the games this week. Anyway, let's just begin right off the bat. So first off, Vice NDR CVR, a new game reveal. Vice NDR CVR is a new game about taking down 80s drug cartels by using their computer systems against them. Revealed for the first time during the IGN Expo, Vice NDR CVR invokes the likes of Hypno, Hypno Space and Outlaw in her story by having you search through fictional computers operating systems for evidence to use in busting or aiding Miami's biggest drug smuggling gangs. Yeah. I thought that would be pretty cool. Just to have, like, you know, tracking down. You don't need to be, like, the biggest badass and, and everything. We don't, we really don't have that many, you know, law enforcement video games. So, it's pretty cool to see a, a couple get uh, released and shown. Anyway, next up, Ground Divers. IGN Expo saw the reveal of Ground Divers, a brand new game in the style of classic arcade game Dig Dug, which I thought was pretty cool. But filled to the brim with systems more familiar from an RPG, it arrives for Nintendo Switch on, Jan on June 30th, which is uh, very close. Described as a slapstick discovery game, Ground Divers sees you guide the rabbit-like mining robot Surah Surahashi into increasingly complex mine shafts of your own creation. Which I thought was actually pretty fucking cool. Because, let's face it, we haven't seen anything in the style of Dig Dug in so long. So, it would be pretty cool just to, uh you know, play something in that kind of style. So, I thought that would be pretty cool to uh, show off. Anyway, next up, Project Warlock 2, surprise early access release. Bookshot, Bookshot Software and RetroVibe has announced that 890s style FPS Project Warlock 2 is available now on PC in early access via Steam and GOG. A new trailer showed a rapid-paced glimpse of the content available during Project Warlock 2's early access version. The smaller slice of the of the full game contains six levels that Buckshot Software describes as being up to ten times bigger than any level in the original Project Warlock. 
Each level is a multi-floor structure with platforms and buildings that add a new layer of verticality to the run and gun gameplay. Which is pretty fucking dope, all things considered. If you guys don't know, Pro Project Warlock was actually a pretty good success. And Project Warlock 2 is looking to be its really good successor. So, it's something to check out if you guys like run and gun games. So, maybe this is something that you guys will enjoy. Anyway. Next up, Roots of Pacha. Roots of Pacha, a life sim about gating, guiding a Stone Age tribe to success, has released a Steam demo today. Shown during IGN Expo, a new trailer showed off the tribe learning to use seed to grow crops, build settlements, irrigate fields, and even play music in rhythm action sections. The demo is available on the scene now, and using the code SMILEY will unlock a special hat for your character, which is just a cat balancing on your head. <laughs> Actually, I, I like how it doesn't even take itself way too seriously. So I suggest go checking that out. It was actually going to be real fun, real cool. So go check it out if you guys have not. Anyway. Next up, The Walking Dead Last Mile. Now this was one of the big ones I was saving. Because this was actually pretty cool. And it has a release date announcement. Ambitious interactive experience, The Walking Dead Last Mile will begin on July 11th. In a new trailer, we saw a situation in which a scavenger dispatches a frozen walker, then got, um, then got ambushed by another human. In the ensuing fight, the ambusher is shot, but the scavenger opts to take them back to their community for treatment. It's a taste of the kinds of moral dilemmas Last Mile hopes to offer. I thought this was actually pretty cool because we haven't really seen a lot of The Walking Dead since uh, the, um, I believe the premiere of the actual uh, series actually started, the new se the new season started. So it's pretty cool to see something so unique. So I suggest you guys go check the, um, this out if you guys enjoy The Walking Dead. So yeah. Anyway, next up, Void Train. IGN is pleased to reveal that Void Train, the interdimensional survival game in which you pilot a train through the terrifying void, is finally coming to Steam this October. Void Train has been available in early access on the Epic Game Store since August 2021, but developer Hype Train Digital has now announced that the game's next stop is Steam, and it will pull into Valve Station in just a few months. Shitty puns, but you want something, hey, it works. Void Train is looking to be really fucking fun if you guys like survival stuff. And it's going to be really fun to, to see how well this game actually does for the style that it's showing off. So if you guys want to try this stuff out, as, as I said, it's coming to Steam this October. So it's going to be a fun one. Anyway. Last one I want to show off is the game called The Unliving. The Unliving will bring its unholy combination of action RPG and real-time strategy to Steam Early Access on Halloween this year. Announced during IGN Expo, the October 31st release date will introduce players to a handsome pixel art game that sees you taking control of a necromancer who builds an army of undead warriors, uses them to destroy their human enemies and then reincarnate those enemies as more soldiers. Sacrificing portions of your army even lets you cast new and more powerful spells. And I thought that would be pretty freaking cool because just how how many times do you you know how many times do you play as the undead enemy against the humans? Normally it's the other way around. So I thought this was pretty pretty cool to show off. You don't really get to see that all too much. And I thought that would just be a pretty cool experience just to have. Being able to raise your own army and then start sacrificing people just to be more powerful. I thought that would be pretty cool. <clears throat> but that's only 6 of about 25 games that was premiered during this one showcase. 
So guys, go check out the entire list and maybe grab up one of these games. I would be here all day if I decided to read them all out. So what game did you like the most? So let me know. Go check out the entire list and then let me know down in the comment section below what game are you waiting to get during the Summer Games Showcase. Anyway, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate you guys' time and I hope everyone has a lovely, lovely day. Let me know down in the comment section below what you guys think and I hope everyone enjoyed. Down in the description down below is all of our lovely and beautiful content creators. Go check them all out. They are a lovely bunch of coconuts. So go give them a watch. If you guys like myself, then you're damn sure are going to like theirs. So go check them out. Anyway, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for listening. I appreciate you guys' time. I hope everyone enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching the gaming news this week. And... I appreciate it. Anyway, until next time, ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching. But good gaming. Happy hunting, and I'll see all you dragonlings back inside the world of the gaming news. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time for some more gaming dragon action. Peace.